I'm going to show you how to take an old picture frame and maybe even some scrap lumber you have laying around and turn it into some spectacular little makeup vanity frame I'm thing, shell, um, cabinet, sort of, because it's a little <laughs> bit of everything. Okay. But it's great. But it, it, this is going to be for a lot of these little things. This is what we're going to end up making here today. But it's for just a lot of My the little nicky knacky things that you want to have easily accessible, not in a drawer. Well, it's so hard to find what I need, and then it gets messy, and it's unsanitary, and I really don't like it. So this is great, Mark. Perfect. I love this. Looks simple, yeah. is simple. I'll tell you what you need to get started. A picture frame. You can get any size you want, depending upon how much makeup you want to have. You can do two of these, small, one big one. Where can we find frames the, like that? Great question. This could be a garage sale find. This could be something that you, uh, right. uh, old one, you don't really use anymore. If it needs a little loving, a little fixing up, you could do that. And then you're going to spray paint it or do a it's finish on it. gold since gold seems to be you, the color it, of the month that, right I'm going to leave that up to Jesse. Okay. I'm getting into <laughs> Jesse Jane territory. Okay, yeah, when it gets are. into the gold thing, I'll step away. A couple other things that you're going to need. You're going to need some finished nails. Today I'm going to use a Brad Nailer just because we have one. You don't need that, but it just makes the job a lot easier. Uh, a drill, some glue, hammer. Um, I'll go down the line here. You need some L brackets. And we're repurposing the hanging brackets on the back of this. We took them off and we're going to repurpose them and use them on here. You're going to need some one by threes. You can have these cut at your hardware store if you want. In this case, we ours are 24 inches uh, here. The two sides, these are 16 and a half. If I can show you real quick, you, you don't need one by three. That The three is the depth of the shelf. So if you don't want a real deep shelf, then you could go one by two. So if you're going to set something on it and you realize, you know, I just don't want to have it sit so far away right. from, the, from the wall. And we can put it back on it if you want. This way, whatever's on your wall is going to come shining through. All right, here, let's get started. So Love we it. have laid this stuff out, okay? Uh -huh. So we're going to put our shelves, we're going we're gonna to butt joint these. How easy okay? is that? Okay, it's very okay. simple. We'll start, and we're just going to tack these on and bring it in, line it up, squeeze in. And fire. Okay. Now is you that a could. Stapler? This is a no. This one is a uh, Brad nailer. There's a. I think these are one inch nails in Oh, they're nails that yeah. go in there. Wow. Isn't that fancy? I love that. And it goes, makes the job easy. A lot of these, a lot of this stuff is used in furniture and things like has that. Has a little bit of a do. kick, doesn't it? It has a little <laughs> bit of firepower behind it there, but we like that. Uh, again, this is where you could use finish nails. As I said, I pointed out earlier, if you have just a hammer and a finish nail, you can do this. So I'll do one more, and then I'll, we're going to jump ahead. Okay. Um, and I'll show you how, because unlike, or, or very That's much easy. like you, and yeah, no, this is one of those, this Brad Nailer is one of those tools that if you're ever thinking about getting something special for dad, and you're like, well, he would never use this. He'll find a million reasons to use this. Oh, I love that. So you okay. see how we made this frame. Now, Christina's not the only one with a magic oven. Check this oh. out. Ready? Here we go. Oh. Isn't that fantastic? Right? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to frame this up. So now we have this. All we have to do is get this attached to our frame. Is that Here's hard to this do? Is not hard at all. We're going to flip it over. You'll see we're working here what we have on our back. Now, I want to point this out. Up here in the top, on these frames, they'll have a little lip. So this is going to inset inside this lip, this uh, ledge Your that's there. Frame, so we're yeah, going to bring okay. our frame. We're going to bring it in. And look at there. It sits in there almost perfectly. And Do you have to glue it, it on? No. Well, you can add some glue to it if you want. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There we oh, go. Perfect. We're in. So what I would do. Oh, you you want to dry fit it. That's called a dry fit. Dry by the fitting way. first. Yes. Make sure that it fits before you, you do that. Yeah, because right? you put the okay. glue in. And then you get your glue and you bring a bead of that down. Is that, that that's wood glue? This is wood glue, okay. yes. Okay. And it helps because in case you don't want to put a whole lot of nailing in, the glue will hold this. It's can't not. Use, go ahead. Can't use a glue gun, right? Okay, fine. We're in the garage. Okay. Can we leave the glue gun into the crafts okay. room? Okay. So this is going to go Wood in. Glue. Now, this is what we're going to do. The glue will help, but we're going to add a little extra support because, you know, if you're going to hang this on the wall, and, you know, we have earthquakes here, so I always want to yeah. make sure things are very firm. We're going to use these little tiny L brackets. And these L brackets, you'll see, are going to go on the side. We're just going to drop it in here. Okay. Take our drill. I need to get a bit. Let me see if I can find the bit back here. Here's okay, I'm going to start decorating my shelf. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm so, so excited. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these and we're going to just secure this and we'll go all the way around. Christina, you're looking at the, the finished product there. Now, when you're doing this, there's a lot of ways. You could have you could mount this through the front, come in with some uh, finished nails if you want. 
Um, you could do, uh, um, use the brad nailer to do it. Just make sure when you pull it in, you're not coming through the other side because you don't want to get caught doing that and uh, get your finger snagged so on it when you're putting. I don't even know what to say to you. Yeah, see, it's, it's just fantastic. A, well, it is spring well, and it's time to, uh, you know, do a little spring cleaning. I do want to show you one thing. Let me finish this. I'll put this in. Now, you don't have to go all the way for all the way around if you don't want, but I would highly suggest it just to give it a little extra. Um, can I, oh, sorry, can I just make an observation as a woman? Because like I say, a lot of Well, I would I, love to see you make one as a man. <laughs> I think if you made an observation as a okay. man, that would be pretty spectacular. That may make, make news. Okay, no, yes, but because, uh, like I said, there I always have a lot of makeup and I have a lot of bottles that are left over and they get on the drawer, they fall over, they get sticky, they open. And again, I don't like things when they're unsanitary like this. So to have an extra space like this on my wall is really great because now I can see everything, I can keep everything clean. This is a great idea. I love it. Thank and you. I want to show, yeah, and I, this so is nice. how we're repurposing. We took the old hardware off of the other frame, and this is how you can hang it on your wall. Mm -hmm. And if you want, because of the way this is made, let me do this. So here we are, finished product. Now we would Another go in, one. you can jump in and paint this any way you want. Just spray it, however. But here's a, a cool little idea. If you wanted to, because this is inset here, you could actually put a, a small board in front of it and have chalk paint on it, right? And it conceals everything. You just take it off, take or you could off? hinge it if you wanted to, oh, and make it a idea. little sort of hidden. Well, I love, I love my new shelf. I'm going to go hang this up in our bathroom. And this it's, is great. I love it.